Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome everyone and thank you all for joining us as we come together to rename Halsey Manor Road overpass in honor of Detective Brian P. Simonson. <laughs> to begin, I'm going to ask that you please draw your attention to the presentation of our nation's colors and the singing of the national anthem by police officer Kevin Shaw. Watch it, hut! Freeze it! Oh! Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Officer Shaw. I'm just going to stand by for one second. Maybe five. to thank the NYPD Aviation Unit. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce the Police Department's Assistant Chief Chaplain, Monsignor Robert J. Romano, for the invocation. Before I say the prayer, can I ask you guys to take one step forward? All of you. Good. <laughs> Believe me, I don't want to be out on calls forever. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks as we come together to do what we as a police department do very well, and that is to remember. As we gather here today, we remember the life and sacrifice of Detective Brian Simonson. As we come here, we pray for his soul, we pray for his family, that they might receive the consolation that they need. As we gather here today, we pray for all the members of the New York City Police Department, for law enforcement throughout our state and our country, that they might be safe on and off duty. And as we gather here today, we pray for all of us who have come together to fulfill the promise that we will never forget. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor Romano. It's now my pleasure to introduce the State Assemblywoman representing the 2nd District, the Honorable Jody Giglio. So, good morning everyone, and I'd like to start out by saying happy birthday, Brian, because today would have been his 48th birthday. And it wasn't planned that way, it just uh, fell into place that way. So, um, happy birthday, Brian, and although you're not here with us, the memory of this sign will be for everyone in life everlasting. 
So the justification for the bill and for this bill in the New York State Assembly and the Senate is that Brian Simonson was a New York PD detective who spent his entire 19-year career at the 102nd Precinct in Queens. In February of 2019, Detective Brian Simonson responded to a call for an armed robbery. Despite being off-duty, he rushed to the scene rather than letting his colleagues face danger alone. Detective Simonson and his fellow officers took swift action to apprehend the perpetrator, and during the crossfire, he was fatally wounded. Detective Simonson was a lifelong resident of Riverhead and proud Long Islander. Despite this daily 70 mile commute to his precinct, he remained a committed member of his community, choosing to settle in Baiting Hollow, just a few blocks away from where I, grew, where I live and from where he grew up. His precinct in Queens was his home away from home, and he'll always be a well-known and dearly beloved member of both the East End and the neighborhoods he protected in the 102nd Precinct. Detective Brian Smiles Simonson overcame many personal tragedies in his 42 years, earning his nickname for his tireless positivity, his love of life, and how he naturally spread laughter and goodwill wherever he went. He epitomized the spirit of service, instinctually stepping forward to help anyone in need. Whether they be loved ones or complete strangers, he deeply treasured his family, especially his mom, Linda, and uh, Leanne, who are here today, his many friends, and of course, the love of his life, Leanne. His memory lives on in all who loved him and through the work of the detective Brian Simons, Smile Simonson Memorial Foundation, the foundation's mission is to smile and do good, as Detective Simonson always did. Since May of 2019, the foundation has been doing charitable work and community service events for children, animals, and those in financial need, both on the east end of Long Island and in the 102nd Precinct in Queens. This legislation honored Brian Smiles Simonson, and we are now dedicating the Holsey Manor Road Bridge in his memory, demonstrating to his loved ones that his service will not be forgotten by the state of New York. Such memorials also show our heroes that the communities they protect are eternally grateful for their service and have called to make the ultimate sacrifice. Their legacy will enjoy the test of time. So thank you all for being here today and thank you to the foundation members that are here and for carrying out Brian's legacy and for his family and all of you who worked with him and loved him so much. And, and I'm happy to be here to memorialize this bridge today. Thank you. And thank you, Assemblywoman Giglio. It's now my pleasure to introduce the New York State Senator representing District 1, the Honorable Anthony Palumbo. Thank you. And, and it was an honor to carry this bill along with Assemblywoman, uh, Assemblywoman Giglio um, in the Senate to represent the life of Brian, who um, I live out on the North Fork as well. I live in the town of Southold. I've been there for 24 years. And to speak with all those individuals who knew Brian as a person, as a human being, um, his career and these lovely words said by Assemblywoman Giglio, and even those events of that fateful day are emblematic of who Brian was as a human being, who's off duty, and jumped into the fray and ran toward the danger. So when we remember him and we dedicate this bridge to him, we remember his service to the police department, to his community, to his family and friends, to this great state and this great nation. He's someone that we all look up to. And when I see all these other men and women in uniform here to honor him, I'm proud to be a part of this. And I know many of you were close to him, his former partner, is a lifelong friend. So happy birthday, Brian. We miss you. We love you. And you represent everything that is good when it comes to law enforcement and when it just comes to generally being human beings. So we're very proud of him. Thank you. And remember to smile because we remember him fondly. We always will. Thank you.
And thank you, Senator Palumbo. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Suff Suffolk County Executive, the Honorable Ed Romaine. Thank you. I want to thank all the members of law enforcement, not only from the city of New York, but from Suffolk County who have shown up, including our sheriff. Sheriff, give a wave. We're here to show our respect to someone that fell in the line of duty. Someone that served the city of New York, but was a resident out here. We're going to name a bridge, the Halsey Manor Road Bridge, the only bridge between exit 70 and 71, a bridge that Brian had to drive under on the way into work, on the way home from work. It's a bridge that will bear his name to remind us of his service and to provide some kindness to his family who has suffered with his loss. When we lose people we love, there is a sadness. And that sadness is only lifted from time to time by the remembrance of that person. Today, we all remember Brian. Remember his life, remember his family, Remember his service. God bless Brian, and God bless all those who serve and protect us. Thank you. And thank you, sir. It's now my pleasure to introduce the president of the Detectives Endowment Association, Scott Monroe. Good morning. This is special uh, to me. Personally, I, I knew Brian. I met Brian about eight years ago bef before he became a, uh, he just became a delegate for our union, and he was a very good delegate. Anything that we ever asked of Brian, he did. Everybody knew Brian. Before I met Brian, <clears throat> I was at the dentist, just to make it personal with the story is, and the dentist kept on telling me, you don't know my nephew, Brian Simonson? I said, no, I don't know your nephew, Brian Simon. He's a detective in a 102. Look, he showed me pictures of golfing and all kinds of stuff with Brian. He's like, this is his name was Lloyd Simonson, Brian's uncle. So I didn't, I didn't have the, I, I didn't know Brian at that time. A year or two later comes, our, our delegate Mark Donato says, I'm retiring, Scott, I'm leaving, and I'm going to hand it over to uh, Brian Simonson. He's a great guy. He's active, he's a great detective, and you're gonna love him because he's, he's a funny guy and he's a smart guy. So I said, put him on the phone, let me talk to him. So he gets on the phone and talk to him. I said, I said, Brian, uh, I met your, your uncle. You know, he's been my dentist for a couple of years now and uh, I just want you to know that. And I said, hey, can you think you can get us some free toothpaste or you know, brushes or anything like that for the guys? And he started laughing and you know, we, we hit it off. You know, we, we hit it off uh, with everybody and uh, you know, that's the way Brian was. And the last day when, when Brian was there, we, we, we had a detective that was in need uh, that had cancer. And we were collecting, collecting baskets of cheer to raffle off Nick Massey and the rest of and John Coleman. We had a detective with cancer in, in, in Queens. And uh, that night, we asked everybody to bring in a, a basket of cheer so we could raffle it off for this detective in need. And uh, Brian showed up that morning, and he, he had that, that, that basket in, in with him. And he handed it off to us, and then uh, he went back to work. So uh, we'll always remember Brian. I personally always remember Brian. Whether I'm driving out on Jamesport, Jamesport Avenue over there, we're seeing Brian's uh, name up there with the, with the foundation that's done a great job putting a lot of this stuff together for Brian the Bridge. And I want to thank, uh, on behalf of the Detectives and Diamond Association, I'd like to thank the Senators and the Assembly for putting this bill together and having the Governor sign it for us and, and, and you know, remembering Brian. And I'd just like to thank everybody for coming. This is a great show in Suffolk County, Riverhead, the Sheriffs. This is great. This is a great show for Brian. It just shows you how, what kind of person Brian was. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. It's now my absolute honor to introduce our next speaker, 
Ms. Leanne Simonson. I am very overwhelmed. I thought I was prepared and um, I'm like, oh my God, there's so many people here. And if I miss thanking you, just know I appreciate every one of you. Um, I cannot tell you how happy I ha am about this happening. Um, it's just such an honor and well-deserved honor for Brian. It really was a labor of love to get it done. I cannot thank Jody Giglio and Anthony Palumbo enough for really pulling through with this, along with um, Fred Thiel and Jerry Gandolfo. I really appreciate everyone who put the effort into getting this done and elected. Thank you all the elected officials that are here and always supporting our law enforcement. Um, I know you guys really strongly believe Ed Romaine is a good leader here in Suffolk to, to just make sure you the family of blue is taken care of. And I cannot believe this is family of blue from every part of Long Island, the city. It's so nice that we have Sheriff Toulon and his crew here who, oh my God, they have become such good friends to me and um, they do, a, they, they really have pulled me into their family with, and it, it's almost like Brian worked for them as well. Chief Kenny, Chief Klein, Monsignor Romano, the whole NYPD, it really is a family and I cannot thank you guys enough for everything you do for us. And um, the DEA, Scott Monroe, your entire board, um, you guys really make sure that Brian is never forgotten. And I appreciate that because you know that's all I want. Um, I always say, I don't care if you know me, just know him. And um, <laughs> I have to, I do have to thank Melissa Peeker. She was this one who got the idea on top of <laughs> Jody and Anthony's desk. She probably called them a little too much. Um, and so I do appreciate all the hard work. I know it goes unnoticed a lot and um, she's just the squeaky wheel. <laughs> um, and I cannot forget the fire department. Um, the fire department always comes out and supports if, if we're here in the city. I, I know it's a love-hate relationship between you all, but <laughs> but I, I, I can't say enough. And then there's family assistance, ceremonial. Oh my God, you always do an amazing job with just getting everything organized. And with Suff you really worked well with Suffolk PD with pulling this off. I can't, I kept saying, you're shutting down the LIE? I was like, I. I was in complete shock. So, uh, see, I thought I was prepared. This dedication couldn't happen on a more perfect day since it is Brian's birthday. Um, so again, he managed to get all his family and friends together, not to cry, but to celebrate. Um, the other day, it, it was funny, I was on the couch, an article popped up on my phone, and it was an article about the most resilient astrology signs. Sure enough, Scorpio was rated number one of resilience. When I read it, it described Brian to a T. Scorpios are known for their intensity and emo emotional depth they are born fighters who face life challenges head on. When life gets tough, Scorpios dig deep into their reserves of strength, drawing on their ability to regenerate and bounce back stronger than ever. This sign does not shy away from hardship. In fact, they tend to rise even higher when confronted with obstacles. Their secret weapon, an unbreakable will and desire to turn pain into power. Those of you who know Brian's life story know that this absolutely rings true for him. I hope that every time one of you sees this sign, 
you remember his resilience, remember his joy of life, and what an amazing human being he is. He never looked to be in the limelight, so he would be so humbled by this. I miss Brian more than words can say. Um, it does not get easier, it just, I learned to live with it. Um, With this sign, I just hope his name lives on long before, long after all of us are gone. I wish, I, I appreciate my line of duty families. I, I wish we could do this for every single one of our heroes. Um, it's well deserved for everyone. Um, I, I admire my line of duty families more than they know. And with that, I just, Thank you all so, so much for coming out. And I know it's a long hike for some of you. Um, but now you know my pain going into the city. Um, <laughs> and, um, and oh, we're having a luncheon. If anybody's available, we're going to be at Rock Hill Golf Course after this. Just stop in and have a bite to eat. And um, thank you all. And thank you, Leanne. At this time, I'm going to invite the Simonson family and all of our honored guests up towards the sign for the unveiling. So if we From this day forward, may Halsey Manor Road overpass be forever named NYPD Detective Brian P. Simonson Memorial Bridge. Present all! Order all!